So I installed a Predator 212 on the Coleman CC100X mini bike, and this thing runs like a beast. So anyway, I used the stock motor mount holes or motor mount location to bolt the 212 on the bike, and it fits on there nice. It runs good, but the only thing is the engine with the stock location sets over to the right a little bit. And I'd like to be able to adjust it. So to be able to adjust the engine over to the left a little bit to get the exhaust to come out more towards the center and the engine more in the center, I picked up this custom aluminum motor mount. What's cool about it, it doesn't raise the engine much, only like a half inch. So the pipe will still clear, everything will still clear. But with this mount, I can slide the engine back and forth, side to side, wherever I want, without raising the engine too much. So this is an easy way to get the engine more towards the center or wherever I want it. So whatever sprocket I want to add or whatever side I want to put the sprocket on, or whichever way I want to run the clutch, I can. So I can move the engine to accommodate it. So I'm going to install this mount and we'll move the engine over. Alrighty, let me unhook this slide. Loosen up this tensioner over here. Hook this kill switch. Alrighty. So there's that. I guess I'll leave everything else hooked up, even the exhaust. Be an easy, be easy to pull off. Loosen these motor mount bolts. Pull these motor mount bolts out. Pull these rear motor mount bolts off pull this pull this chain off of here all right so there we go let me wipe down this mounting surface yeah the engine fits in the stock location just fine but the thing is it's over a little bit i could have just drilled holes but I like the idea of being able to um, adjust it wherever I want. All right, so to mount this mount on this bike, the slots aren't long enough to just bolt it down. So I'm gonna have to drill a few holes, but which is easy. So anyway, if I mount it right here, I still have all this to slide the engine from side to side. The stock holes are right here, and I have all that, so like another inch over to the left, or even a little bit to the right. So bolting it right there would be perfect. So I'm going to drill the holes right here and bolt it down right there. Alright, there's my holes. So there we go. All right. So it fits on there nice. Yeah, that'll give it a lot of adjustment from the side or even back and forth. So perfect. Let me bolt it down right there. That's nice about this motor mount. It has the slots underneath, so the bolts are flush underneath and they're held by the slots. So it makes it easy tightening the engine down or moving it around. Let me bolt her down right there. That should do it.
So there we go. Left it loose enough where I could slide it. Now I'm not sure if I can set the engine on here with these uh, bolts sticking up this high without it hitting the frame on the top with the tank. I might have to take the tank off. So I'm going to pull this tank off here to make it easier on myself. Just try to set the engine back on there. It'd be a lot easier. Alrighty. Set her down on here, hopefully. Alright. Let's see if that did it. Yep. Alrighty. So now I can run an inboard clutch on this thing. And the pipe will come out in the middle. So now I'm going to pull this clutch off, put the chain on. That way I can align the chain. So let's now do an inboard clutch instead of an outboard clutch. And that will get the chain more closer to being aligned. All right. Let's put this chain on with an inboard. So there we go. Yeah, it looks pretty much in alignment right where it is. Cool. So I thought I might have to move the uh, sprocket over one over to the other side, but I guess not. So, and the pipe comes out pretty close to the middle now. Yeah, that's a lot better. So let me tighten her down right there. All right. All right, let me tighten this motor mount down. All righty. Bolt this tank back on. Put the slide back in. Ground this kill switch again. All right. All righty, plug this kill switch back in. Should be good to go. So there we go. So you got the mount on, it raises the engine like a half an inch so the tank and stuff still fits. But the exhaust comes right out the center now. And the engine is setting in the center. Yeah, it's nice, everything's more centered overall. So it's a nice mount. And what's cool about it, I have a adjustment for future mods or whatever else I put on it. I can move it around now.